Hi there. Uh, what I wanted to share with you at the moment is uh, another project I've been doing. It's a Perry 40 millimeter Peninsula War French officer mounted. Um, this is an interesting kit. There's the fellow there. Um, he's on his horse. It's just there. Improve the light in a bit. Um, I really like the Perry, uh, Perry Brothers stuff. I find it very good. Having said that, I bought this quite a while ago, a year or two, and um, well, this is the base I'm going to put it on. I've built it up into a little uh, more dramatic skip than it was. I'll show you how I intend to fix the uh, onto it like this yeah, anyway I was saying about the um, <clears throat> about the figure itself although I really love the perimeter stuff in general and actually this this is not a bad uh, piece when it's all put together it wasn't very it wasn't molded very well and it seemed to me it was I was look oops, I was I would have knocked the paint off just then. There was lots of flash. The uh, reins were um not separated, I had to chisel those away. Cut them away. And uh, generally I wasn't overly impressed with it. Well, it's a very nice pose and everything. It's a classic pose, I think, from a uh, picture. Uh, I've seen it before, anyway, over the years. And um, hopefully it'll look okay when it's finished. I thought I'd just take this little video now because um, everything's going to change fairly dramatically before the end. This is Milliput I've put on there, on this base, to... Um, uh, as I say, add a bit more drama to the uh, to the scene, and um, I'm going to get on with that now uh, with the little finishing touches. I'm going to epoxy the horse to that base first, and then I'll put the rider in place after that, but not before I've worked some more on the base. Well, here we are again. Um, this is my Perry 40 millimeter mounted French officer on his uh, little base now that I've been painting. I'll give him a quick twirl. He's just about uh, finished. I have to put a little um, description on the base and there's a few little places where I want to put some more uh, varnish. I like this figure now as a as a finished figure, it was quite difficult to um, get the casting to a state where I thought it was acceptable or worth my while to paint it. But nonetheless, having seen the uh, the finished project uh, product, yeah, I'm quite happy with it. It looks quite nice. Could have done more detail on it. Could have kept going. But I think it's near enough. I quite like the fact that the horse is sort of rearing back a bit uh, as it approaches this little uh, top of this little hillock. Slightly different, a bit more animated. So that's that. I hope you like it. I find it worthwhile. I'll give you an idea on uh, whether or not you might want to purchase uh, some of these Perry figures. These 40 millimeter ones. I've also got to show you possible next project. This is another 40 millimeter Perry figure. 
this is a rifleman it's a PE-73 rifleman standing firing I have a lot of uh, these uh, Peninsula and uh, Waterloo period riflemen um, 28mm not 40mm all painted up and they're in the in the cabinet up there, if I can just uh, show it. a few cases full of them up there. And there's a possible next project to be a fairly straightforward single figure for display. I also wanted to um, show you this figure. This is another Perry. Mounted French, I think it's a mounted French colonel, a Waterloo period. I've got this free with a box of Perry plastics maybe five years ago, six years ago, seven, I don't remember how long ago, a long time ago. And I painted him up. I wanted also to um, give you a view of the 40mm and the 28mm figures. Uh, adjacent to each other so you can see the difference um, in scale and size um, I like this little fella as well it's very uh, it's very nice looking I quite like the way he turned out again could always do a bit more <coughs> Facial detail is okay, and that figure is okay as well. Um, that's what I wanted to show you today, just how that all turned out, that little project, uh, and how it compares to um, other Perry figures in different scales, at least one of them anyway. Interesting to compare them. I probably prefer the 28mm figure overall. Doesn't take very long to paint one of these <clears throat> compared to this 40 millimeter figure, and um, yeah, not too sure about the base work. I might want to uh, change that. Anyway, I'm going to leave that there for now. Hope you've enjoyed it, and just hope to see you again soon. Bye.